What's going on YouTube? Back with another video today and today we're going to be talking about a video that recently was put out by a popular YouTuber that's coming under some flack for the choice of headlights he chose to use on his truck. That here in just a few but I want to say first thank you everyone for all the views you've been putting on the channel. Thank you for all those people that have subscribed. I know I have slack since I started uploading on this channel, but I really do appreciate it. So I do appreciate those that continue to subscribe and support the channel. Let me know what you want to see more of down in the comments below. As of right now, we're just doing some news and some updates in the car community. So if there's anything else you'd like to see, please let me know in the comments below. But yeah, we are seeing some little bit of heat coming towards a popular YouTube personality. You might know him, Mike Street Speed 717 very popular car YouTuber that has had a number of different Corvettes, a number of, or actually two McLarens and a pretty badass diesel truck. And recently Mike decided to go ahead and put some new headlights on his truck and basically these headlights were done in a way that outfitted them with some LED bulbs and there is a community of people on Facebook that are part of a retrofitting headlight group and they are calling Mike out for the use of his headlights and you know pretty critical to come at him for what he's doing you know a lot of people wouldn't think that just using a certain type of headlights would be such concern but these people are pretty adamant that he as well as others are contributing to unsafe driving habits by those that use this product. So basically what Mike did is he had his headlights retrofitted to have a high output LED bulb as the low beam headlight. And apparently, according to these critics, he is supposed to use a projector style output that directs the beam in a way that creates optimal vision and clarity, as well as preventing the amount of glare towards other drivers coming down the road. Many people have issue with using these high output lights because many people don't use the proper type of projector and they put it in a standard headlight housing that is not meant for such high output bulbs. So on this community, many people criticized Mike for doing this. And, you know, to Mike's defense, I would have to say that maybe not too many people realize, you know, the proper way of retrofitting headlights. You know, a lot of people are just looking for that greater light output and you know w without knowing the specifics and without knowing you know what exactly you have to do to get to that point to have that extremely bright output that is efficient and safe I don't know that it's that much common knowledge at this point so you know the guys that were criticizing him you know I think that they probably are in the wrong because you know something like this might not be such common knowledge and instead of sitting there and bashing the guy even though he is you know a YouTube personality you know the proper thing might be to do is to educate and inform him him of the right way to outfit his headlights and maybe make the adjustments so that he would be able to see better and maybe be able to you know prevent those glares that are going to be seen by his oncoming drivers and you know ha ha just have a safer all-around experience with his truck so you know instead of criticizing you know, it'd be nice to see people be more informative be more helpful you know we're really getting to a world where everybody is so judgmental and so critical that it's just it's more it brings more separation than it does bring us together and especially of those of us in the car community you know let's help each other out let's grow with each other let's inform each other let's help each other learn and um you know it, it's really difficult for everyone to know everything about everything you know and um, when it comes to something like this especially you know guys just i would give him a, a break on this one you know go over and show what he needs to use i went ahead in this video and laid out some products that would be proper to use so there you go kind of just an update of YouTube uh, car news. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe, like the video, and let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see next on the channel. Thanks, guys, and have a great day.